the flow of your game and the differences between being the guy and the very clear guy like you were in Indiana and being a guy with other superstars like you are now mm-hmm. with the Clippers, like you were in OKC uh, when Russ was still at his peak. Yeah, my early years in Indy, I was in that phase of like, that's what you want. You want to be the guy. You want to be the go-to. You you want everything to fall on you. So I was in that space. Uh, but then after, you know, years of being there, going through injuries, and then seeing how the league was shaping up, it was like, man, I can't, I can't do this alone. Like, and so that evolved to like, all right, like, how can I be of service to a team? And I didn't know where I was going to go. I didn't know where I was going to get traded when I requested a trade out of Indiana. I ended up falling in Oklahoma with a superstar. And initially it was just like, okay, how, like, this is different. This is a di- obviously a different role for me, not being the guy anymore. But like, how can I be of service and bring what I do and add to what he's doing? And uh, honestly, I felt like that was where my place was. Like, I had to be honest to myself that like, in order for me to win at the highest level or get to where I want to get to, I don't think I'm the the one guy. I don't think but like, I can. I can score with the best. I can, you know, take over games with the best. But I don't honestly think that's what my my game is if I want to win a championship. I don't think that's where my place is if I want to win a championship. And I felt like I learned that. I played my best being off the ball, being, you know, the second fiddle. I had my best career. Uh, playing alongside Russ in that in that uh, in that role, um, so you know I, I just pride myself to be like be able to play with anybody and, and play any style, any way you want me to play. I feel like I can just fit right in, um, but I, I think that's just what my role was, and, and I felt comfortable in that space of just being the second guy. I want to just acknowledge. I, I see, I'm being serious here. I, I, you may have said that publicly before. I just want to acknowledge and and sort of give some credit to you. Um, I guess it's self-awareness, but like, I don't think there's many guys that have been the guy that are willing to sort of go that far to acknowledge it. And look, that is not me saying, Hey, Paul, you're definitely couldn't be the best player on a championship team. I'm not saying that at all. What I'm saying is to have that self-awareness based on your own experience. I think that's rare. I think that's rare in the NBA. Listen, JJ, I am confident with who I am. I'm confident. And, and what I can do. The game's been good to me. I made a shit ton of money playing this beautiful game, man. I don't have no ego when it comes to, to basketball. I just want to win. And I haven't won. I haven't won at any level. I haven't won in high school. I haven't won in college. I haven't won in the NBA. And so if, if, you're, if, if you're that guy, it's like, all right, like, how do I win? Like, what do I do? What do I have to do to win? And if it's, you know, being a piece and not the whole piece, then that's what it is. Like, and I'm, 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 I'm comfortable in that, in that space. Like I don't need my ego stroked. Yeah. People say like, Oh, Pete, you, you are, a, a, you know, you are one A, you and Kawhi are one A, one B. Like I, I thank you for stroking the ego, but like, (laughs) I'm, I, there's no, I have no shame in being like, why is the one I'm the two and we can operate, you know, together. You know what I mean? If he goes down, I'll take over and pick up the lifting. Like, you know what I mean? I, I, I'm very comfortable in in that space. And so, you know, it it is a self-aware thing because there's guys that don't think that, or there's guys that, you know, go beyond their prime and they think that they're still, you know, in their prime and, and it's a, a tough pill to swallow. But for me, I have no problem with, you know, being honest with myself. Um, and, and that's just what it comes down to. 